Hello. In this video, we will practice more examples on literal fractions. In the following exercise, we are given a equals 2 over 5 and b equals minus 5 over 6. And we are asked to calculate the value of a over b. Now, we substitute instead of a 2 over 5 and uh, b is minus 5 over 6. We sub substitute them and now we have a fraction which is in the form of a complex fraction then we can multiply the farthest by each other and these the closest we multiply them by each other and we will have 2 times 6 and minus and 5 times minus 5 we look if we can um, simplify but we cannot simplify no common uh, factors between the numerator and the denominator then we just simply multiply the numerator and the denominator of course, uh, above in the numerator, the sign is a plus, and in the denominator, the sign is minus. So positive over negative, it will be negative 12 over 25. Now in part B, we are asked to uh, also find the, the value of A over 1 over B. Now we can substitute A in its value at this stage and B in its value, but it's easiest to simplify this fraction. So a, we put it as a over 1, and 1 over b, it's 1 over b, and now it's in the form of a, um, a complex, uh, mixed complex uh, fraction, uh, and then we can multiply the farthest by each other and the closest number by each other, so it will be a times b. So it's easiest to substitute a and b in this stage rather than in this stage. So we substitute now. Uh, 2 over 5 times minus 5 over 6. Remember, we have multiplication of fractions. It's not necessary to make same denominator. We do not think of that at all. So we multiply the numerators and the denominators. We look if we can um, cross or if we ha can simplify. So we can simplify 5 and 5. And then, uh, of course, the minus will be in the numerator. The minus is not uh, uh, simplified. And it will be minus 2 over 6. And we can simplify more because 6 is 2 times 3. 6 is 2 times 3. And uh, we can cross 2 and 2. And we will have minus 1 over 3. Remember, if we do not have anything in the numerator, that does not mean that it's 0. It's 1 whenever we simplify everything together. So it's minus 1 over 3. In this part, we are asked to find the value of 1 over a over b. So as before, we can substitute at this stage, but it's easier to simplify it more. So b, we write it as b over 1. And now we have a fraction over a fraction. And that is the form of the uh, complex fraction. We multiply the farthest by each other and the closest by each other. So 1 times 1, it's 1. And a times b, it's a times b. And now we substitute a and b in their values. And we multiply them 2 over 5 times 5 over uh, 6 and I simplify them directly uh, 5 and 5 will be uh, uh, simplified together and 2 and 6 will be simplified together from the 6 we will have 3 so the answer is 1 over minus 1 over 3 and now this is the form of a, a complex fraction so 1 it's 1 over 1 and minus 1 over 3 in the denominator we have a fraction over a fraction then we can multiply the farthest by each others and the closest numbers by each others and then we will have 3 over minus 1 of course here uh, 3 over minus 1 it is minus 3 our final example 1 over a over 1 over b it is already in the form of a, a complex fraction then we can multiply uh, the farthest by each other and the closest by each other so it will be b over a and now we can substitute b and a and that will give me another complex fraction and then i multiply the farthest by each other and the closest by each other and that will be minus 5 times uh, 5 and 6 times Times 2 so I write them here and I look if I can simplify anything any numbers together from the numerator and the denominator in this case I cannot 
then I just multiply the numerators together and the denominator. I multiply them and I will obtain minus 25 over 12. New question. Now in this question, we are going to calculate this big and large expression. So if we look closely, we have a main dash and we have some stuff in the numerator and uh, below we have some stuff in the denominator. So I should simplify first uh, those first and simplify those. And whenever I finish simplifying and the numerator and the denominator, in this case, I will multiply the farthest numbers and the closest numbers. So let's start. In the numerator, in order to add these two fractions, remember that adding the fractions, I should have same denominator. And look at these ones, 1 over 3 plus 1 over 2. Do they have same denominators? No. Then we should... Uh, make the denominators same by multiplying them by each other and the same goes for the below ones so I have minus so whenever I have plus or minus I should have same denominators luckily I have the same numbers I also should multiply them by each other so I multiply the denominator 3 by 2 and I, I, I multiply the denominator 2 by the another denominator 3 so I multiply them by each other I do the calculations and then I will obtain the following fractions which have the same denominators. And now I can add in the uh, numerator which is above and I can subtract the two fractions in the denominator. And I will obtain 5 over 6 over minus 1 over 6. And this is the form of the uh, complex fraction. In this case, I can multiply the farthest numbers together and the closest numbers together. And I will obtain 5 times 6 over minus 1 times 6. Of course, in this stage, I should look if I can simplify something together. And of course, I can simplify 6 and 6. I will obtain 5 over minus 1, which is minus 5. Another big and last expression to calculate. 1 plus, so we have the main dash, 9 over so much stuff there. So I should start calculating because the numerator is already only 9. I should calculate the denominator and simplify it into one fraction. So all of these should be transformed into one fraction only. I will start from the denominator of this one so always start like from the bottom okay so 1 plus 1 over 3 of course in order to add I should have same denominator I put 1 over 1 and multiply it by 3 I will get the following expression so it's a 3 over 3 plus 1 over 3 now they are the same denominator I can add remember that I'm copying all of these stuff these numbers I'm copying them as they are Okay, so I'm only working with 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 the three over three plus one over three. Only those. I will complete, copy those as they are, and then add three plus one. It's four, and of course, because I have the same denominator three, I will copy it as it is. And now four over four over three. This is in the form of a. Uh, complex fraction then 4 I will write it 4 over 1 so I copy again I copy all of these numbers as as they are and 4 it's 4 over 1 over 4 over 3 so it's a fraction over a fraction I multiply the farthest by each other and the closest numbers to each other by each other and I got 4 times 3 and 1 times 4 which is 4 I see if I can simplify anything and I can simplify 4 and 4 so I will be uh, left with uh, nothing in the numerator so 1 times 3 which is uh, 1 which is a 3 sorry and in the denominator also nothing so it's 1 so it's a 3 over 1 which is 3 so 2 plus 3 it should be 5 and 1 plus 9 over 5 how can I add these two I should have same denominator so 1 I put it over 1 and multiply by 5 I will have 5 over 5 plus 9 over 5 same denominator I can add the numerators which is 14 over 5 if you feel that you need more uh, explanation in adding fractions, subtracting, dividing, or multiplying fractions, or the general idea of uh, complex fractions, please revise the previous videos.